I made this uh, kind of thing. It's a holder that can in be inserted into the mount of the CNC over there. It holds the pen and it has some uh, linear bearings riding on this uh, silver steel. So it can uh, move like this. So it's going to be a hovering head. I'll insert it in here. Something like this. Then uh, bring my foil, which I didn't. Piece of foil. Slide it on there. Kind of square. Get a bit of the soap off if possible. On to the smelly stuff. Uh, in this case, thinner. See some goo coming up. Oh, that's a bit much. Okay. Throw this outside <coughs> because it smells. Don't light a cigarette. <laughs> this thing. I've got a ribbon loaded which I wanted to test compared to the other one. <coughs> oh this smells terrible. Let's see what it does. So by the looks of it the best result I get is one coat single pass. <coughs> Because otherwise it will wipe itself, <coughs> not as much as with the normal markers, but still it does, uh, doesn't does improve the quality. Best one is scuffed, then cleaned with thinner and use a slower speed, maximum of 3 meters a minute. This is by the way a very complex lot of scribing. I mean I want to use this maybe for rubenoid coils or whatever and this is of course an AMT with ha which has a lot of blacked out surface as you can see. And also a lot of corners. Yeah, so I hope. I hope I fuck it up. I hope I'm able to etch this one. This one looks quite okay except for here. Not sure what's going on there. Seems to be a problem every time. 
but all the other lines are quite nice so I'm gonna dump this in the edge bath see what happens I hope it's still yeah it's still slightly warm not very hot but get some gloves pretty annoying the foil will uh, try to roll up on its own because it's probably uh, sitting on the roll like this or it's the tension of the drying film could be as well so putting it in is quite of a hassle Ooh, well scuffing does help it's gonna etch real quick Still folded, fucking hell. Yeah, it's like a roll now, which is not cool. And it's etching really quick. It's new etchings. Fucking. Uh oh, there it goes. This is completely going wrong because it's fucking folded up like a roll and it fucks everything up. Yeah, it completely obliterated the whole thing. Fucking hell. That's... Jesus Christ, it's fucking annoying. The etchant might be a little bit too strong as well. As it reached a certain temperature, it thought, uh, well, I etched the whole thing. Yeah. So, I might dilute this a little bit. But how much is the question. I mean, I don't want to fuck it up so it doesn't work at all. But this is too fast, as you can see. So, I waited quite a long time to see it obliter obliterate in a second or so. Combination of it folded up like a roll, which is fucking annoying. Really pisses me off. And uh, the fact that the etchant etchin is too strong. I have new etchant. <laughs> and uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, it's potent, sort of say. So I'm gonna add some water, I think because it's just too strong. I got old etching that is not as strong. I could use that one. It's really dirty. So I don't have to fuck up this nice etching. That would be a idea as well. But now I screwed up my test. So. Okay, okay. Failure is always an option apparently. I removed the good etching and I'm gonna pour in some of the crap etching that I have still lying around, but I'm not sure how crap it is and how much diluted it is. It's quite a lot. It smells like <laughs> vanilla because it's some sort of protein thing. Not sure what smells more terrible, the etchant or the, the vanilla protein shake crap. Because it's disgusting of course. The etchant doesn't look even that bad. But I'm not sure how much it is diluted. So I'm just gonna dump in one of the other membranes and see what it does. Hope it doesn't fire up like this one. So this is one version that is a fail. As you can see it has some spots that's not covered in pen. But I'm just gonna see if the etching works. Uh, and as well, you can see this one doesn't roll up. And this rolling up is because I scuffed it with um, a sponge. So, uh, not sure what to do about that. Probably needs to make some sort of jig where I can put the foil in or something. Because if it's rolling up like that, it, I have no control at all how much it etches and where. It's not gonna be uh, uniform. So, let's see if this stuff still works. I'm not sure if it's warmed up already. Hopefully a little bit. Oh, forgot my gloves. Not terrible one, because this etchant is apparently not as strong. The other one became 
was sizzling from the start. some water and see if the mylar turns blue because that's the color of it well as you can see it etched almost through there's still some shimmering of aluminum so I'm gonna dump it in cool thing about uh, using uh, ferric chloride compared to the more generous uh, copper sulfate is that it doesn't create all kinds of crap floating on it. So if the etching is quite new, not as dirty as this one, you can see clearly that the uh, foil is etched. You can't I think it's pretty much done. This ink holds really well as you can see. It's not bubbling much at the the edges of the ink except for here where it kind of fucked up that is a push um, this is the result with the oil pen and you can see the like the edge is really good But as you can see, these lines in between these rows, the tiny lines, that's uh, the programming error. This is one of the membranes I didn't want to edge, but because I fucked up the first one, I had to do this one. Uh, also, these tiny um, stripes on the top there. But uh, the rest holds. So, actually, the only uh, things that are Edge too much are the, the things that I did wrong in the program, so that's not it's not the pen failing. Except for this piece, I'm not sure what's happening there. I think I tried a double coat and then it fucked it all up instead of uh, making a double coat. But yeah. Uh, you can make These, I think, perfectly fine with this pencil. The only thing is, what, what's bothering me is that the tip size. I could only buy one tip size, and it's it's a bit too small. I think, at least for for this huge amount of um, you want this this thicker traces, it's too much. For tiny traces, it should work. So, what I'm gonna do, I made earlier with other. Uh, stuff I made this like a ribbon sort of but it has tip pinholes as you can see pinholes and scratches an ear hole so it's not perfect but these are tiny traces and since this marker is uh, rather tiny I'm gonna try making this one again see if it looks any better than uh, this one so I know this is the way to go uh, for pen but the only downside is um, doing big surface areas but I think you can uh, cut these uh, tips to size 
I think. But I only got one of these pens now, so if I do it right now, I cannot do this anymore. Depending on how big I make this tip, of course, but... Or it doesn't work, and then I... Well, same story, I cannot make this anymore, so... I'm trying... I will try it first now with the tip so as is, and then I might squish it or cut it. Not sure what's the best. Probably I'll cut it with a new razor blade. The only thing is that when the pen is empty and you're buying a new one, it's not a very accurate way of doing stuff. Then you have to figure out again how big the tip is if you just cut it off. It's a bit too random for me. So I would love, I'm gonna look for on the internet if I can find these same pens with a bigger tip. So it's more consistent. As of now, I will use the tip that's on there and create this kind of ribbon thing. See if I can manage to do that with this new pen.